What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I am headed out to go check out a brand new piece of public that I've never hunted before. It's about a 45 minute drive from my house and uh, I've kind of overlooked this spot. It's a little bit smaller parcel. It might be at most a couple hundred acres. Uh, it's mostly CRP grass, but there's a nice little tree line that runs right through the middle of it. That's the game plan. Hopefully we can get something to happen tonight. Uh, the last couple times I've gone out has been kind of slow, but that's all right. It is still uh, early in the season. It is actually October 1st today. So we're gonna get out and make the most of this cold front that has moved through. It's about 60 degrees even right now, which is absolutely perfect for this time of year. I can't wait to get out and uh, get back up in the tree stand. But guys, before I go any further in this video, if you have not already, please go over to whitetailfit.com and check out the new October 3rd fall collection that I'm dropping. Um, it runs from October 3rd through the 11th and it is all new gear. Some of the coolest stuff that I've put out to date. I think this is my best collection yet and uh, I'm extremely excited about it. So if you wanna help support the brand and help support what I'm doing, go over to whitetailfit.com, grab yourself a hat, grab a t-shirt, maybe a new hoodie. It's getting into the fall season. The hoodie weather is here. Go grab yourself one. Guys, I appreciate it so much. Let's get on with the video. some wind tonight. Hopefully that dies down. Alright guys, made it to my spot. I am all set up and got bow, binoculars, got my entire hanging hunt set strapped up on the Kafaru, and uh, we're ready to go, so. Not a whole lot of sign yet. It's a pretty dry creek bottom. I thought this creek might have water in it, but we'll move in a little further and see what we can't find. few tracks down there, but not too many. seen a few tracks and that's a pretty fresh rub right there so good 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 look at this
pretty good trail. Saw on the map that there's a little pond up here. Hopefully it's still got water in it. I'm headed up that way. I'm gonna try to sit on that pond. right there that I can hang in. It's like a lot of doe tracks, but that one's a pretty big one. It might be a buck. All right, I'm gonna get up and around, get into that tree right there. This will be a cool set. very high but that's my tree All right guys, we are all set up in the tree. Got plenty of daylight left, about two and a half hours at least. Um, sitting over this little pond, as you can see in the background, there's a decent amount of tracks around the pond. Definitely the most sign that I've seen in this spot. Um, so, hoping that something comes in, tries to get a drink of water before heading out to the egg fields tonight, but it's a tough spot, I mean, this is pretty much my only shooting lane. Now, it's a good shooting lane. The wind is in my favor, and there are tracks and the trail going up right there, but that's about my only spot. So this really is kind of a water hole sit, and uh, you know, I get one shooting lane. Everything behind me is just too thick to shoot, and the tree is kind of awkward, so it's hard to get any shots other than that one shot. So hopefully something comes in there. We'll see. I mean, I might be able to get another shot, a little bit catty corner uh, to the pond. Maybe could get a shot through here, but doubtful. Just have to see. Um, shot right to the edge of the water is about 30 yards. So who knows? Maybe something comes in and gives me an opportunity. We'll see. But this is a neat piece of public ground, but I just, I've been having a tough time with public ground anywhere even remotely close to where I live because there's so many people and unfortunately this spot when I was walking in um, you could see that trucks have been back in here now this is supposed to be a walk-in access only um, I guess it could be the farmer but there's no crops on this ground and there's no cattle on this ground so I'm not sure um, who would be driving in here other than maybe other hunters who aren't really supposed to be so um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We're in for the long haul tonight, we'll see what happens, but keeping my fingers crossed.
see if something else comes through, but that was cool. I'm glad I at least saw something. Well, while we've got a little bit of light, I'll give you a bit of a recap. Um, came out to this spot, packed up my hang and hunt set, and uh, came down to this bottom in search of sign. And what I wanted to find mainly were tracks and a good amount of them. Uh, I actually found right on this tree line right here, right, actually right where that buck went, uh, some pretty decent little scrapes. Uh, they were just barely pawing at the ground and licking the branches. And uh, they're just kind of testing the waters right now. So I knew that there was at least deer using this area didn't know how big a deer. I found one rub, but it was no indicator of how big the buck might have been. I'm thinking that's probably the buck that's been using this little area. So while I was looking for sign, I found this pond on my Onyx maps and decided to come check it out. And when I got over here, I realized that the edges were tore up with tracks. So decided to try to figure out hanging a stand in here. And this was the only tree that I had. <laughs> wasn't an ideal tree but it worked so got the stand up in here sat and uh, the only deer that's come through so far has been that little buck so while I got a little bit of light left I think I'm just gonna close out the video here uh, I'll be watching and seeing if there's any more deer that move through but if not this will be the that stupid little possum <laughs> There's also a possum that came in behind me and he's just been walking around the edge of this little pond. But I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm glad to see some deer, that's for sure. Even if it was just one smaller buck, it was nice to see deer uh, out on this public ground. So like I'd mentioned earlier in the video, make sure and check out my newest sale coming up. My fall collection on October 3rd is when it drops. So this Saturday. Um, all new gear, bunch of hoodies, t-shirts, hats, um, super excited for it. So if you want to help support the brand, help support my cause, um, go over there, grab yourself something. I appreciate you guys and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.